So Pat Riley praising Kareem as LeBron nears passing him as the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Riley says he's always viewed Kareem as the greatest of all time, saying, quote, I put Michael in there too, but Kareem was the greatest at that time because of his longevity and the fact that he continued to perform at a high level when he was in his late 30s and 40s. All right, ooh, these are fighting words here. Shannon, does Pat Riley have a point? He does, Skip. I think Kareem is the most underrated superstar in the history of the game because he's never gotten the credit because even when he played, Skip, they said Russell was a better center. They said Wilt was a better center. And then he happened to be around in the 80s, and here come Michael, Magic, and Larry. So he's really never gotten his proper respect for being a historically great player. Six MVPs, which is more than any other player has ever earned. Michael, uh, uh, Bird, Magic, Will, Russell, LeBron, nobody has six. He has six rings. He's the all-time leading scorer, only for a short amount of time left. He's, I think if I'm not mistaken, he's the third uh, leading rebounder. And that should, like, he's on the 35th anniversary team, he's on the 50th anniversary team, he's on the 75th anniversary team. Mm. But Skip, and he got, he had no flair. Oh, he had one shot. Nobody can stop it, and nobody's been able to replicate it. Now, we can say Kobe is as close to Michael because he had a lot of similarities. The fade, the, uh, the, the turnaround, the fade away, the flying through the air, pull the, you know, the wristband on the elbow, the, the, uh, the knee sleeve roll down. Yeah. We've seen guys copy a lot of other guys. We've never seen anybody throw the sky hook with the consistency and the regularity in which Kareem Abdul Jamal throw it. Now, we've seen guys throw it. Most of the time, people throw the sky hook, skip, trying to get a little on your horse or a pig. But ain't nobody throwing it. I don't even know anybody who tries it. <laughs> but nobody's doing I mean, it. I mean, it's. You know, it, the, it, it, remember it, Magic had the baby sky hook in, what was that, 85? I was, I was sitting in the front row. Yeah. Yeah, when you throw yeah. the baby. It, it, but it was baby. Yeah, it was baby. It, it, baby won, it won the game. Yeah, it won the game. It yeah. absolutely won the game. Yeah. Skip, that might have been 87. That was 87. Yeah. That was 87. Yeah. Okay. I, was, I was in my college dorm room. Yep. I remember that. It was 87. Right. Go back and look it up, guy. But here's the thing what, what he said, Kareem's longevity. But see, here's where he said, now, if it was Kareem's longevity that made him the GOAT, LeBron James is going to play longer than Kareem and play at a high level in the same year. Now, Kareem averaged 10 points in year 20. LeBron James is averaging 30. So if you said, now, this is what Pat Riley said, in 2012, when Lee Jenkins was writing the article for the 2012 Sports Mother of the Year, he referred LeBron James as the boat. Best of all time. Now, all of a sudden, you know, I'm putting where, my, where was LeBron playing at that point? In Miami. Thank you. And Kareem. Who did he coach? Kareem. Mm. So, look, I'm not going to argue with Pat Riley. Pat Riley know more about basketball than, 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 than I would have dream of knowing. Mm. And I'm not surprised that he said Kareem. Yeah. Um, but... You can't say longevity is what made Kareem great and then all of a sudden just like kind of poo-poo and skirt the fact that LeBron James is playing 20 years. He's going to break the record in 100 fewer games than what Kareem did. But I'm not here to dismiss Kareem. Kareem absolutely has a case to be the GOAT. And although, Skip, I don't believe he's gotten the credit that he deserves, especially by the media. Because when Kareem won the MVP, I don't know if players remember this, the players used to vote for the MVP. Yep. They took it out of the players' hands and started putting to the media. Mm -hmm. The media never voted Kareem MVP. The players did. Yep, because Kareem was not great with the media. He, would, he, he probably would have never done stiff-armed the media. <laughs> Once upon a time, I had an interview set up with Kareem on a Saturday afternoon at Moody Coliseum in Dallas where they were going to just shoot around right. before a Sunday game against the Mavericks. And he stiffed me. And wh wh how do you think it made me feel about Kareem? Yeah, exactly. And he, he was promoting his book. Book. And he just ducked. Just they said I, no. I don't know. Okay, so, but he did that. Uh, I wasn't alone in that. He did it to a lot of people. <laughs> he was distant and aloof from the media. Yes. Okay, well, that doesn't help you with the media when they're voting for these Probably awards. why he didn't get a head coaching job either. I, I would agree with that. Okay, the first thing that was glaring to me is Pat Riley did not even mention LeBron in this discussion. Yes. He said, Michael should be in there too, meaning he should be in the discussion. <laughs> but he didn't say Michael and LeBron, LeBron should be in there because, to me, LeBron and Pat fell completely apart uh, in Miami. Yes. And you can't tell me that didn't influence his of course it did. His feelings in this regard toward the, the GOAT feelings. You, right? But put it like this. You retired Michael Jordan, he didn't even play for the Heat. 
You got 23 hanging from your rafters. Okay. So? So how yeah. can you not think he's the greatest, Skip? How can you retire? Skip, who's going to put a statue or retire somebody's jersey and they never played for said organization? Okay. That I, shows you how great Michael was. Okay. So I'm all about Michael as the GOAT. I respect Kareem just in, in longevity and just he endured. He endured a lot off the floor, too. Right. He, he had it rough. I, I went through some issues where he had death threats, where I was covering the Lakers in his day. But here's the point about Kareem. This is what disqualifies him from the GOAT conversation to me I, because I, I honor the numbers because you can't not right. honor the numbers. He wins a championship with the great Oscar Robertson in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. And then somehow he winds up in L.A. I don't know how they pulled that off, but they did. Right. Way to go, Dr. Jerry Buss, because you have created a dynasty. Yes. But you needed a missing piece right. to that, right. and it was one Magic Johnson. Yeah, he was winning MVP, Skip, okay. but he wasn't winning no title before okay. Magic. All right. So look at the record. He, he comes to L.A. in the first year was 75-76, and they go 40-42, and 42 and they miss the playoffs. Well, that didn't work. The next year, they were much better, 53-29, and 29, but they got swept in the conference finals by Portland. Then the next year, they go 45-37, and 37, not great. They lose in the first round to the Sonics. Then the fourth year, no magic, 47-35. and 35, They lost in the second round in five games to said Sonics. So my point is, they, they won nothing. Right. There was no dynastic you yeah. know, sort of I think if I'm not mistaken, I think here. the first year, Skip, I think they, they had a losing record. He was MVP. If he, I'm, I, if, I, I think you're right. And I know the yeah. last one was Magic's first year, and yeah. I don't know if people realize that, that Kareem was the MVP. So think about this, Skip. Let's just say Nikola Jokic is the MVP. And then somehow they managed to get Victor Wimbayama. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they, they won the MVP, and then, they, I mean, they go to the fight, they win the fight championship, and then they get James Worthy. Okay. You know that's never going to happen in today's game. All right. But in walked Magic Johnson. <laughs> and all of a sudden, life changed. It changed. Because Kareem was more of a follower than a leader. Right. You needed the charisma right. that Magic brought because he's one of the great leaders. I mean, it's between him and Michael to me, but they're very different. But in sheer charisma, there's never been anything in the history of this game like Magic Johnson. Even though, even though Magic led... He was willing to let Kareem sure. have his face. No, no because, he honored him. He called yes, him cap. Yes, and he and Magic like, hold on, my team now. I'm the Finals MVP twice. Yeah, this is my team. Okay. Well, you want a cap? Yeah, cap, cap, cap. He did. It's beautiful. But yep. that's how you win championships. That's the leader. That's why you go to nine in, in, in twelve years. You win five because a lot of times, Skip. Magic never tried to say this is my – what do you get, Skip? A lot of times you get guys boom, boom. We saw that with Shaq and Kobe. We saw it with Kyrie and LeBron. We see the head budding. No, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm on a level play. Magic said, no, I'm trying to win titles. You, yeah. you want to be the best? Okay, he the best. Yeah. So, in the end, uh, Pat Riley should at least include LeBron in the conversation. The man – but- the only reason you're having this conversation, Skip, is because LeBron is about to pass Kareem. <laughs> no. The man is about to pass him. But remember what happened at the end. Yeah. <sighs> They fell apart. They clashed over how many of your inner entourage. Group, you know, the, uh, he used the term. Like, uh, didn't, didn't he no, call no, him? Pat Riley called. Uh, well, no, not it was Pat, Phil. Phil, Phil, Phil called, called him entourage. Yeah, yeah it, it, it bothered him. But well, you see how you know, see Pat. Yeah. When you get a situation like that. How, how many? How many of your group? Ten. Here, huh. here's two extra. <laughs> in, case, in case you get, in case you get a, a couple of extra homeboys want to come in. Well, LeBron did win him, what, two? Two. two Went to four. Went to four. Okay.